हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल कोड बोर्ड एंड दिस इज कौशिक सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द टिक टैक टो गेम इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिजाइन द गेम एंड एडेड लॉजिक टू पुट लाइक सर्कल और क्रॉस इन द सेल्स ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर गेम बोर्ड बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द लॉजिक ऑन विनिंग द गेम और इफ द गेम हैज बीन ड्रॉन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर लॉजिक लेट मी टेल यू दैट इन आवर लास्ट Uh, coding what we have done we made a small mistake let me show you that whether uh, wh what we have done uh, did you notice it if you tried that coding uh, by yourself in your uh, machine then maybe you have seen it so let me show you just uh, let me go to the browser so this is the thing we have earlier made but you can see that if i uh, click in a cell over and over again it's being switched over so it is not right so we need to just strict that if one cell has been clicked by any player once it should not be uh, clickable anymore so for that let me just go to the code section and let me add one logic here that if in a html not equals to blank then just return which means if the there is something inside that particular uh, elements html then it should not do any kind of logic whatever we have written it should be returned from this first line itself so that's it so if you just uh, replace this page and just click it over and there is nothing right because uh, now uh, no action is being taken it's just returning from the very first line so this was a mistake in from the first video so now let's go to the actual section about uh, the logic of winning or you know if the game has been drawn so let me go to the uh, coding section and uh, now what uh, i want to explain you that uh, if you think about the tic tac toe game board from a mathematical point of view then it is a 3 by 3 matrix right so let me explain you in a better way okay so we have already understood the 3 by 3 grid system while designing this particular game in html and css right but uh, when you are basically uh, adding some kind of logic to check whether a player has been won the match or uh, if the match has been drawn then uh, what you need to do you need to do some kind of mathematical operations like checking the values of the grid cells and etc and for that you know what you uh, have to map that 3 by 3 grid system with the some kind of mathematical uh, structure so guess what what could be the mathematical structure that match exactly like a uh, tic tac toe game so can you think so this is basically nothing but a uh, 3 by 3 matrix nothing else so basically we are going to define a 3 by 3 matrix with some uh, initial values uh, let's say minus 1 and uh, this minus ones means there is no click has been happened in this particular cells and all this matrix element is going to be mapped with this particular cell in a 3 by 3 grid system so whenever a user will click in a particular cell then what will happen that minus one value which is associated uh, with the matrix for that particular cell it will be changed to 0 or 1 or 2 based on our logic and whenever we need to check whether a player has won the match or the game has been over then what we need to do we don't have to do anything with that ui thing rather we will check that matrix thing and we will decide so that's it okay so let me define a 3 by 3 matrix based on that on which we are doing our operations so this is our 3 by 3 matrix and we are keeping the matrix value initially minus 1 by which we can understand that uh, if this is minus 1 that means that particular cell uh, which is associated with this particular element of this matrix is not clicked by any player till now okay so whenever any player will click any cell of uh, of the ui uh, game board then the matrix value for that particular cell which is associated with uh, the positions of the matrix will be changed over maybe 1 to 2 or two, uh, sorry minus 1 to 1 or minus 1 to 2 based on the which player has clicked on that particular cell okay so before that we want to uh, declare another variable that is win equals to minus 1 which means uh, by these variables uh, basically we are going to keep track that whether uh, the any player has won the match i mean if the game is over or not so that's it so i am going to use this variable later then i will explain how i am going to do it now so 
I have to, uh, earlier has told you that if some player has clicked on a particular cell, this method is invoked and I can understand that uh, on which particular div is being clicked from this element. Uh, but the problem is that I cannot understand that which div, uh, I mean the position of the div. I mean if you click on this particular div, so I cannot understand whether it is in a first row or in it is in a second row or if it is in a second column or first column. I mean the coordinate of div is unknown till now in this script section, right. But for changing this matrix value based on the coordinate of this particular cell, we need to know the coordinate of the cell where the click has been occurred. And for that we need to add two more, uh, you know, coordinate variable argument in, in this particular uh, method. So for that let me add it like 0, 1 sorry it should be like 0 0 because I am uh, uh, thinking that uh, you know the first row and first column should be 0 so 0 1 and this like 0 2 so similarly this should be like 1 0 this should be like 1 1 and it is like 1 2 and for this the row will be 2 so 2 0 2 1 and 2 2 ok so the coordinates are being passed uh, by this argument so I need to receive it here so let me just add two variable here row and curl so by this I can understand that the uh, these are the first argument which is uh, row value and this is the columns value so if i get like 0 0 or 0 1 based on the click on this cell i can understand that uh, player action has been happened on this particular coordinate based on that i can change the matrix value so what i have to do let's first change the matrix value okay so initially turn is 1 and then based on the repeated click it should be turn equals to 1 or 2. So the matrix value for that particular cell which is associated with this matrix any position will be uh, switched to that 1 or 2. If, if I think uh, say you that uh, what are the ways that a player can win a tic-tac-toe game. So let me explain you that thing. Okay, so if you think about winning uh, the game in a tic-tac-toe game, then you can say that there are basically three ways to win this game. Whether you have to put the same clause or circle sign in the same row, so there is a row matching winning and same row, cross or circle sign in the uh, columns, I mean in the same column, then it is a column matching winning and there can be a diagonal matching winning also as well. So there are basically three types of winning and that is what exactly we are going to implement in our javascript coding checking the rows columns and diagonals to see whether a player has been won the match or not okay so now we are going to check that row column and diagonal value so for that we need to create a for loop first we will check row then we will check column and outside the uh, for loop we are going to check right so for the row check what we will uh, do that if um, let me say you matrix i0 equals to equals to matrix i1 and then matrix i you know uh, 1 equals to equals to matrix i 2 sorry to win the variable we have already declared here win already declared in this section win so we need to uh, assign this win as matrix i 0 so I am going to explain it uh, just um, after adding the code for the calls checking so just switch it over 0 i it should be 1 i it should be 
one i and okay so this should not be one two it should be i two and here it needs to be done as two i and this should be the win variable now should be like this okay so that's the case so this means that let's say at the very first iteration of the for loop when the i equal to 0 so this will be like when i equals to 0 this should be like matrix z, uh, 0 0 equals to equals to matrix 0 1 and then matrix 0 1 equals to equals to matrix 0 2 which implies that matrix 0 0 equals to equals to matrix 0 1 equals to matrix 0 2 this is how we are checking the zero row. Similarly, when the iteration will come in the second loop, I mean the second time, this will be like one zero, one one, and one two. The row checking is being done in this way. And whenever these three will be equal, then the win variable will be like one or two, or maybe minus one if uh, in a particular row nothing will be clicked. Okay. And similarly, uh, you can think about the call checking just we have switched the values in the square bracket so that it just checks from uh, this horizontal way to the vertical way okay now we are going to check the diagonals for the diagonals what we have to do if matrix 0 0 equals to equals to matrix 1 1 equals to equals to matrix 2 2 sorry it should be inside square bracket 2 2 win equals to matrix 0 0 right sorry it should be 0 and similarly all we have to do there will be another diagonal so we have first check like 1 0 0 1 1 and you know um, 2 2 now we are going to check that it should be like 0 2 1 1 should be 1 because I, I need to check this diagonal 1 1 and it should be like 2 sorry 2 0 ok and uh, the let let us keep it same so that it is better understanding you know? so the 1 1 will be sent for the diagonal check because this one element is common for this diagonal and for this diagonal also so that is it we have checked the diagonals we have checked the columns and we have checked the rows also ok or now all we have to do is that uh, to check the win variables value whether the value is minus or, or something else if it is minus 1 that means uh, no player has been won till now uh, and if it is something else like it can be 1 or 2 then based on that we can decide which player has won the match so for that uh, let me just check if win not equals to minus 1 that means player has sorry it should be not equals to minus 1 then just copy this thing from here to show some message in uh, you know the message section so and just paste it over player sorry it can be as one the board right so that's it now let me just go to the board and check if it is working or not so before going that let me do one more thing that if the game is already over then uh, uh, no player should place any more mark in the board so uh, before starting this action one more checking we need uh, we need to do that is like if win not equals to minus 1 then just return that means the uh, win variable has been changed from minus 1 to 1 or 2 uh, based on which player has won the match so just uh, uh, if that is correct then just return uh, without uh, executing any uh, logic from here 
and so there will be nothing in you know, cross or uh, you know circle in the board so let me go to the browser and just let me refresh it and just check okay so as you can see that it is being shown that the player 2 has uh, won the board uh, so it is working quite well but apart from that we need to add one more functionalities to check if the uh, board has been drawn or not so uh, can you imagine that when i can say that if the board has been drawn uh, so for that we need to check one thing like uh, you know if nine times clicked has been happened in this particular board and still the win variable is minus one then it is draw right so uh, maximum click can be done by both players is nine times because there are the nine cells only so if the nine times click is completed but still win variable has not changed from minus one to something else then it is definitely a draw game so we need to just check that thing to decide whether the board has been drawn or not for that let me go to the code and let me add one more thing for click counter equals to 0 and the very first of this just increase the click counter value by 1 and just check here if click counter equals to equals to 9 that means the click counter has been reached 9 and win variable is still equals to minus 1 that means the game has been drawn so for that just copy this thing and paste it over here and just change the message like game board has been drawn so that's it and uh, let me check uh, if uh, the logic what I have made is working properly. So Okay, so as you can see it is uh, showing that the board has been drawn. So that's it for the logic part uh, for the draw game and the winning. But as you can see, there is no, uh, you know, strike is being shown here, like uh, this player has won in this diagonal or maybe in this row. For that, there uh, we need to add some advanced CSS part or maybe a bit of JavaScript also. Uh, that I can make a extended uh, video for this tic-tac-toe game where I can explain this to all of you. But thanks for watching this video.